This is a General Motors um, ignition switch. It was stuck, getting stiff, and um, then I removed it, but it was, after I removed it, it was stuck in the lock position. So I could not get to the pin that you take out here. The hole. And uh, so I drilled a hole here to, to get the pin out. And I'm not sure if I needed to do that because I discovered there's a hatch here, a notch here, as you can see. And that notch was facing this pool here. So it is, I don't know, maybe it's possible if you push down here. Here and down, yeah. pushing down on the groove as it turns then, and maybe it's possible that you can disassemble this. I don't know. Anyway, um, better not to remove the key because then those taps will fall out, I guess. And this one here it also can fall out, and it has a spring inside. And I think the top should be level with the barrel. Yeah, with a, like this, but they are clearly not. They are very worn, then I guess. Uh, they are worn on the inside. The key, the key wears them out, I guess. <coughs> and so I could remove some of them, those who are sticking the most out. I could uh, see as I move the key out. Let me move up and down. You can see. Oh, I don't drop out. No. And uh, it's in the best position for them to be level. They seem to be with the key a little bit out, like this. And you could also file them down to make this turn easy. Uh, or you can, as, as shown in the other video, uh, no. you can file down uh, this groove, those grooves here. Here, here, here. Oh, they are up here. Oh, you will see it, they are a little bit worn from the, from the top. Anyway, uh, what else? Uh, I will continue later when I find some solution. And I guess I will have to put a metal tab into this hole that I drilled. Maybe just glue it in place because this will not be moving like this. Or I don't know what. Well, most people just buy a new one, but. It can be repaired, maybe. So, why not? Enough of that. Anyway, try to upload this. Last one failed.